The Great Barrier Reef has always been a place that huge numbers of green sea turtles call home. But they've got a big problem. Too many of them are female. Scientists who've spent years tracking their numbers off the east coast of Australia say that complete feminization of the turtle population is possible in the near future. And it's all because of the climate. Hotter temperatures means hotter sands. And because the ratio of male to female turtles is dependent on sand temperatures, we're now seeing on those northern beaches virtually no males being born. Not enough male hatchlings means that green sea turtles may be stuck in what's known as an extinction vortex, where it's only a matter of time before the species dies out. More worrying still is that turtles may not be the only ones with the problem. If you're a mammal like us, we control our body temperature and that allows us to have real close control about our offspring and, and how our babies develop inside us. If you're an egg laying animal, so if you're leaving an egg somewhere and birds, some birds do this, reptiles do this a lot, these green sea turtles do exactly that and a lot of sharks will lay eggs and they'll, they'll move on. You're relying on the local environment really setting and controlling the temperature. What's happening is, is we're changing the climate quicker than these animals can adapt to and their behavioural sort of changes and, and evolution can keep up with. Measures to boost the number of baby boys in the turtle population could include installing giant shades to keep the sun off the beaches where mothers go to lay their eggs. In the meantime, the species desperately needs its existing males to survive. Geraint Vincent, News at 10.